A warning for parents after an alarming spike in edible marijuana overdoses among children. News 4's Doreen Gensler has a mother's cautionary tale after her son was rushed to the emergency room. They're called edibles, marijuana-infused gummy bears and chocolate bars sold in packaging that appeals to children. They've become increasingly popular as more states legalize marijuana. And unlike prescription medications, these sweet treats don't come in childproof containers. That's led to a dramatic increase in accidental overdoses among young children. Now, a Maryland family is sharing their story in hopes of educating others about the risk. Can you say hi? <laughs> Oliver Perry's almost two years old and loves to explore. Oliver is our wild child. <laughs> I thought that the third child was supposed to be a very chill, laid back kid. He is the opposite of all of that. He climbs everything and has the best personality. He is full of smiles. But last month, after a play date with some friends, mom Elizabeth says something seemed off. And he was unusually lethargic. So I was putting him in a sleep sack. I laid him down and he started shaking and crying and looked at me with just utter fear in his eyes. Oliver was rushed to Anne Arundel Medical Center. He was having seizures and his vitals were dropping. Doctors ran tests and he was intubated and medevaced at Children's National Hospital here in D.C. That's when the toxicology results came in. The toddler had marijuana in his system. I told him that wasn't possible. Like, we don't smoke. We don't have drugs in the house. And then, like, two minutes later, I like my jaw dropped and I realized that he had probably gotten into my medical marijuana that I had two different doctors suggest to help me with sleep. And, you know, it was in a childproof container, a container that you're supposed to push and twist at the same time. It was in a drawer that I did not think that he could access. The doctors say Oliver probably ate about 15 gummies containing 75 milligrams of THC, the active ingredient in marijuana that gets users high. Kids have a way of finding these treats. They'll think it's candy, they'll eat them, and they'll eat a lot of them. And uh, it's just a good idea to keep them stashed away and hidden and locked. Dr. Brian Schultz is a medical toxicology fellow at Children's National Hospital and part of the team that treated Oliver. He says there's been an increase in edible overdoses among children nationwide as more states legalize marijuana. Dr. Schultz says it's important to look for warning signs, things like lethargy, difficulty walking or trouble breathing, although symptoms won't appear right away. Someone smokes marijuana you'll typically see peak serum concentrations probably even before finishing the cigarette, maybe maybe within 10 minutes. Someone who ingests an edible may not see peak serum concentrations of THC for several hours. You get high quickly when you smoke marijuana, but very slowly when you ingest it so kids can consume a dangerous dose of THC before anything happens. To treat it as you would any other medication. So lock it up keep it high. If it comes in a package that looks like candy, just transfer it into a medicine bottle that has a childproof lid so it doesn't look as tempting. The good news is that Oliver has made a full recovery. His mom calls it a whirlwind 36 hours, one she hopes no other parent will ever have to experience. Can you say thank you and bye-bye? Yeah. We feel like we need to pay it forward. We feel so, so fortunate that he's okay. We want to just thank the world by sharing our message. Oliver's mom, Elizabeth, says she no longer has those edible gummies in her home and continues to share her story on social media to warn others of the risk. Data from the Poison Control Center shows calls have nearly tripled for children ingesting edible marijuana products from January through May of this year compared to the same time last year.